Hey everyone, welcome back to Snap Bolt. I have another popper league for you, this time with a pretty crazy brew. This is what I like to call Lotus Affinity. Um, and it's not your typical take on Affinity. It's just like a much more aggro version. You're just trying to go all in, cast some really like early, like turn one or turn two of these Affinity cards and play a bunch of these bad aggro creatures. Looks like our match has started. I'll just go over the deck a little bit. Um, but anyway, here, here, let me let me take you back to the list. Sorry, <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna let me now. Um, here, let's check it out. Let's go to collection. So here's the deck again, basically. Um, you only play nine lands, all of which are artifact lands, and then you play twelve things that cost zero. Um, Lotus Petal is one of them, so this is another mana source. And uh, you play Ornithopter, 0-2 Flying, Welding Jar, and then you play pretty much every single card in the deck costs one, except for Carapace Forger and Frogmite Mirror Enforcer, but since these have affinity for artifacts, basically you hope these cost zero, or like maybe one mana. So basically, almost every card costs one, and you're just trying to cast really quick Frogmites, Mirror Enforcers, or like cast multiple one drops on turn one, turn one Carapace Forger with another creature, just do stuff like that. And in Throne of Eldraine, this new card Ginger Root came out, which I've been wanting to try in this deck. Um, so it came out on Magic Online today. We're going to try it out and see how we do. Sideboard's pretty standard stuff. Some Pyroblast for blue, Gorilla Shamans for affinity, uh, some Blazing Volleys for stuff like Elves or whenever you think you need it. Weather the Storm against Burn. Um, just a random natural state, relics, and a flaring pain against like fog decks. But uh, that's basically the deck, and uh, let's get to the first match. And uh, I think this hand looks pretty sick, right? We're going to keep it. We're on the draw. If we draw like another zero drop artifact, I think this hand gets even like a little more insane. Let's see. Okay, a spring leaf drum. That's interesting. So we go land, pedal, pedal, welding jar, one, two, three, four, five. Now I think I just go play mirror enforcer. Cracking these petals past the turn. Turn one four four with welding draw up. Let's see if that's good enough. Another mirror enforcer, but now we only have four artifacts. Uh, if we just had that in hand, actually would that have mattered? Probably not. I think I'm just gonna play Carapace Forger. Pass the turn. And then we can just start getting in there for eight. Opponent's not really doing much. Okay, Frogmite. I think I'll just cast this now. One, two, three, four, five. I think I'm just going to also cast this other Mirror Enforcer. And then hit for eight. Prismatic Strands. Sure. Pro green. Chooses green. Okay. So that was a turn one mirror enforcer, turn two carapace forger, turn three frogmite plus another mirror enforcer. So yeah, when you draw these affinity for artifact cards, your deck gets this deck gets a lot better. Core Sky Fisher. Okay, we can blast that. You can flashback Prismatic Strands. Replay Astrolabe, that's good. Another Boros Garrison Bouncing Radiant Fountain. It's annoying. Ooh, Bone Splitter. I think we want to just blast. He's going to flashback strands. 
chooses red. Oh, he chooses red. Interesting. I didn't think about that line. It's okay, though. Now we just hit for 12. Put him down to 6. And then still have all this power. So he goes to 8. We're still going to have 4 lethal creatures next turn. Journey. We have 3 le lethal creatures. Just We're going to suit up our Frogmite here and get in there. A Gallop Blast doesn't do it. Vault Scourge. So we suit up. And then hit with all. And he concedes. Okay, nice. We got the first one. I'll just bring in natural state here. Um, and galvanic blast. I think I like the galvanic blast against them. Just core skyfisher can be just so annoying. Um, set out maybe sparring construct. Maybe just two sparring constructs here. We'll be on the draw. We could also set out a dark steel citadel and just try to get lucky. Hmm. I don't think we need the sparring constructs as much in this matchup. Let's try it like this. All right, game two against Lindoso, a one. And I mean, yeah, I guess I'll keep. I only have one threat, but it's a turn one mirror enforcer. If we draw another like affinity card, this hand gets a lot better too. Don't think I can really mull a turn one mirror enforcer, especially with like welling jar up. She's not gonna have like that many journey to nowhere effects. Again, we'll have to see if this is good enough. It's looking pretty sketchy. Okay, that's a good draw actually. Cast a lot of zero drops. Let's see. Cast this and then cast this. Pass the turn. We might just want to suit up our mirror enforcer here. It's looking to be the case. Just play a turn one six four essentially. Ooh, ginger brute. Don't hate that. We can't. Oh, I guess we can use petal. But then if we draw galvanic blast, we can't cast it. So basically, this is this is what I'm thinking about. Is I can go land. Play Ginger Brute, activate Ginger Brute, so it can only be blocked. It can't it can't be blocked except by creatures with haste, so it's basically unblockable. Um, and then I can use Lotus Petal to equip Mirror Enforcer, hit with both. Then I hit for seven. But then I don't have green or then I won't have red mana. I think I like just equip here and then just hit for six. Play Ginger Brute, pass the turn. I think using Petal is not worth um, in this situation to get one more damage in. So we basically don't want him to find um, Journey. Core Skyfisher. He can double block the Mirror Enforcer, but then we just can regenerate using Welding Jar. Land there was really, really bad, especially because we decided not to get in there last turn with Ginger Brute. I guess I should have equipped the Bone Splitter onto the Ginger Brute. That was a mistake. I mean, if he's blocking the Mirror Enforcer at all, like, is he winning this game? Maybe. Yeah, it's just a mistake. I could have gotten in two more damage. 
Does he want to trade double core skyfisher for welding jar? That'd be pretty insane. I, I guess no, leaving it on the mirror enforcer is fine because then he, otherwise he could double block the mirror enforcer. Okay. I like this. I think I'm going to equip here though and pass. Likely going to have to equip back, but we'll see. Three mana, Oblivion Ring, the Mirror Enforcer, okay. That's bad. He'll probably, well, he should have attacked because he won't be, he can't block anyway. We get to hit for five. And no second Journey to Nowhere effect. I guess if he has two bolts, that stops us too. But him having like more creatures isn't that bad. Ancient Grudge of the Ginger Brute, that is brutal. Um, I mean, we could regenerate. But I think maybe I'd rather save it. Uh, it's rough. I guess there's no reason not to. He can flash back on Ginger Brute if he wants, but there's nothing we can do about that. Yep. So Ginger Brute's a good draw. Mirror Enforcer's a good draw. Carapace Forger's a good draw. Land, Otis Petal. Not good draws. Vault Scourge, I guess that's decent. Let's just suit up. Hit for four. And then play a Vault Scourge. Pass the turn. Yeah, we can't let him like really get too much card advantage going, but he's got to stop our um, like pretty much all our threats somehow, which he can certainly do. Ooh, natural state on O-ring, nice. That is huge. Equip. Equip. Just got the bolt. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna pass. Try to end of turn natural state the O-ring. Prism, it's fine. Draven Inspector's fine. Another land, okay. And end of turn, natural state, the O ring. Maybe I should play more natural states. Ginger Brute. Um, I like it. Equip, equip. He just draws a card. It's looking decent here. Hit for both with both. Chumps goes to nine. Glint Hawk, draw a card, it's good. Got to find an answer to Ginger Brute now. Firebolt, that's a good answer. Then no attack. Okay, it's interesting. I think I just have to equip and hit. And then play a Carapace Forger. Mm. 
Yeah. Gotta just let that resolve. Oh. I always do this at, at damage. Okay, Carapace Forager, another 4 4 coming your way. Let's see if that's good enough. Make ourselves a little uh, Crash of Rhinos. You guys know that card? It's a really old card. It's 8 mana, 8 4 trample. No, no other abilities. Let's put him to 1. No. Oh, he's got the strands. Okay. Well, he doesn't have a white creature right now. Does he draw land? Bog, okay. We draw Welding Jar. Don't think that really does anything. He can't flashback strands right now, but he could draw... Oh, he has a lot of white creatures in his deck. I'll just play this, too. Alright, he's at one. We've used no Galvanic Glass, so we have four in the deck. Oh, he becomes the Monarch. Jeez, and he can flashback strands. Okay. Gets to draw a card. Oh no, we drew a land. Does he have like a bolt? Okay, he's just using strands this turn. It's an interesting choice. Because he wasn't dead just to save his palace sentinels. We basically just need to draw Galvanic Blast at this point, most likely. I guess Ginger Brute does it as well. Oh no. Oh, okay, it's the Life Linker. I mean, that is really bad. Attacking. Okay, so he's maybe going to trade these guys for the Forger. He gets to draw another card. Frogmite. Okay, let's attack. We can't regenerate Forger using Welding Jar, unfortunately. Oh, God. Oh, well, that's interesting because unless he has another way to prowess next turn, he doesn't get to gain three. And even if he does, um, even if he does gain three, we can still win with a top deck Galvanic Blast. Five mana is a Mole Drifter. Oh, just flashback Firebolt. Oh, and he gets to gain three. Um, I guess I Welding Jar. Not another, okay, no other non-creature spell, please. Don't want him to, no. Don't want him to go to five. Yeah, he, he figured it out. Let's just see if we draw um, Galvanic Blast this next turn for fun, but we're dead. That was a close game. Oh no! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Why? Alright, so he just trades there. Now, if he has a non creature spell, we just totally lose because he's getting six. So I guess. Oh, does he not have it? I mean, I guess he could have Bolt here. 
I'm just gonna not play around Bolt. Try to draw a second Galvanic Blast. Yep, okay. I think that was wrong. I think you should have cast it first, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's go to game three. We'll be on the play. Hmm. Don't think I wanna make any changes. I think I'm happy with it like this. Could consider Relic, uh, but I mean, Prismatic Strands is not even that great against us. All right, game three. We would like to play first. We'll keep this hand. He kept their. He kept his hand as well. Lotus Petal. Um, hmm. What do I want to play? I could play Bolt Scourge. I can play, I think I want to play a two power thing. I'm definitely, let's see. I guess I could play Bonded Construct plus Frogmite. It's worse against a Bolt effect. Is it though? Because then I can still cast Ginger Brute attack. All right, I'll do that. All right, turn one, four power. Thraven Inspector. That would have been good last turn. Um, let's just attack with both. I'm gonna regenerate. I'm gonna play a Vault Scourge. Pass the turn. No core Skyfisher, please. Lone Missionary is also pretty good. So I guess I just go Ginger Brew, attack with all. It's not looking great though. Let's see what he's got. Astrolabe. Okay. Brutal. Uh, I think I'm just going to attack with these two, play another Vault Scourge. Pass the turn. Firebolt, brutal. Yeah, I mean, this is just a bad matchup for us. He's got ways to gain life. He's got good blockers. He has a ton of removal. Doctor, bad draw. Let's just get in there. You can flash back another firebolt. Second Radiant Fountain of the game, because thanks to Boros Garrison. Oh, another Seeker. Jeez. Yeah. That card's pretty hard to beat, too. And a bolt from hand. Then gain three more life. Yeah, we're dead. Try to keep playing for a second, but I mean, he's gonna be able to cast a spell pretty much every turn. I don't think there's any way we can beat this. 
Plus he can flash back a Firebolt. Just not quite a broken enough start. Wow, and he has another removal spell. Yeah, I mean, this this is just a horrible matchup. He could have also just killed our land. That would have, uh, that would have done it. Let's see if I can tell him GG's here. And I'll see you in round two. Hello everyone, welcome back. Round two against Deluxikov. We won the die roll, we're gonna go first. Can't keep this hand. This one we can keep. Let's see. Could just put back Galvanic Blast in order to keep the highest number possible of artifacts in hand. In hand, and I think I think that's what I'm gonna do. Otherwise, if I put back Mirror Enforcer, um, I can go turn one, Furnace, Petal, Ginger Brute, Frogmite. I, I just like putting back Blast. I, I'd rather cast this, get to cast this Mirror Enforcer than the uh, Galvanic Blast. I think. Looks like he mulligans to six. I think I just go ginger brute attack for one. Start getting in there. Just pedal next turn. Not sure if it matters. Seal of Strength. It looks like we're probably against Infect. Okay, another Frogmite. That was a great draw. Could that have been the best possible draw? Let's see. Because now we can Mirror Enforcer, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a nice interaction. You can state that you're casting Mirror Enforcer and then crack Petal. So pedal counts towards affinity and you can still crack it. So I'd say that's a pretty good turn two. <clears throat> yeah, red white with like Galvanic Blast, Bolt, Core Sky Fisher, Glenhawk. I think that's probably the worst possible matchup for us. Um, let's just activate Ginger Brute here. Hit with all. He'll probably go block Frogmite, crack Seal of Strength. And then, uh oh. Oh, shit. That was a huge mistake. I should have left back Germ because now I think I might just be dead. Hmm, that was a huge, huge mistake. Definitely needed to leave Germ back. Now he could just play two pump spells, crack, crack Seal of Strength. Ah, he's just playing way too hasty. He still needs a lot to be able to get, to be able to kill us. Cave of Temptation. Not sure about that. Like, when are you really gonna have four mana left over to put two plus one plus one counters? Don't know if that's strong enough. But I just I just really hope I don't die here. I mean, if he can't kill us, he's probably going to lose because he has to block next turn. Okay. So there's a, so let's think about this carefully. So if I go attack with all and he goes block mirror enforcer, he takes one, two, three, four, five, six. But if he blocks frogmite, he takes four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm just going to activate attack with all because I don't see him having a removal spell so he has to block mirror enforcer now so I guess again I sh oh no I, ha I had to attack with germ this time because yeah so he can go vines kicked and he can try to kill us next turn but he goes to two um, I suppose I'll just play this past the turn. 
Because if I didn't attack with Germ, he can just not block. I still think maybe, that was, maybe I just made the same mistake again, putting myself possibly dead. But we'll see. I mean, I feel like if he has it here, he's he's going to have it. He's not going to tank too long. So double vines does not do it because he doesn't have quad green. Oh, no. Seal of strength. Three mana. Double strike? What is this? Like a plus one plus oh double strike? No. Oh, okay, not enough. Whew, Soul's Fire. People like playing this card. Whew, that was scary. And then he concedes. I don't know why he showed us Soul's Fire. And it doesn't seem good to me. I guess it's like, it just seems like so much worse than like unblockable. Okay, I mean, we know about Soul's Fire now. Blazing Volley. I think we even want Natural State. Um, Galvanic Blast. And Weather the Storm. Just kidding. <laughs> Definitely don't want Weather the Storm. Um, I guess Welding Jar is really, really bad. It's just never going to be able to regenerate anything. It's hard taking out four zero drops from our deck and having our deck function. But, I mean, it just seems like a literal dead card. Like, we can never, we can literally never regenerate. Only, I guess, against a removal spell. But it's likely that he's not going to have that. I'd rather just try to mulligan for a land and then try to, like, cast Galvanic Blast and Natural States and cast these one drops. I think that's better. Yeah, this looks good. Frogmite off the top would be a sick draw. We can just go turn one, Gingerbrew, Gingerbrew, Bonded Construct. Abundant Growth. So we might be like two or three color, um, in fact, playing Abundant Growth and maybe Astrolabe. Okay, land was not good at all there. I'm just gonna play out all three of my creatures. And just start going to town. And then I'm going to Galve Blast a two drop if he plays it. Cave. Blighted Agent? Yeah, I'm just going to kill that now. Bonded Construct, kill your guy, attack for four. I could have waited to um, see if he would like go in basically and play a pump spell and then try to kill the Blighted Agent, but I think I just like killing it so he can't like go like untap protect it, protect it, protect it, and then might kill me once he gets more lands in play. So, I like forcing him, yeah, to have to play out another guy. Unearth, Blighted Agent, what? That's bad for me. Um, I guess I'm just gonna attack with all. He's got a Blighted Agent anyway, so I can't block this time. Trade. Play Flare Husk. So our, our opponents, I mean, we're going deep, but our opponent seems to be going deep as well. Unearth, huh? Wow. We only have five power, so we can't kill him next turn. Did 
Does he have the win? No. Okay. Gal Blast. Okay. Attack with all. Okay, we don't have the win here. Because we can we can Gal Blast him down to one. I'm just wondering if I want to try to kill Blight Agent now. I don't think there's any reason to when he has a green up. I'd rather just wait and now he might have to try to go for the win, in which case we can Gal Blast and try to disrupt the combo. See, as you can see though, like his deck doesn't really have removal. So against a deck like that, like we function much better than against a deck with like eight bolts main. Like we just can't win that matchup. Um, I don't think there's any reason to make Ginger Brute unblockable. We have like a two power creature in play that he's much more likely to block. Wow, blocking the bonded construct, going to two. There's no, uh oh, protection from artifacts. Sure. Now he just has forest forest up, which means we can just scalp blast his face. All right, we got there. One and one, I'll see you in round three. Hey everyone, welcome back to round three. This hand's not crazy, but it looks good. We have a, a turn one creature, whichever one we want. And then we have a turn two, second land, fro another creature, frog, or no. Yeah, yeah so we'll, we'll see, we'll see what we draw. We can definitely play turn one creature into turn two care of his forger with with Metalcraft. We can also play like turn one creature, turn two double creature, and Frogmite. If we draw a zero drop, okay, it looks like we're against Affinity. This will be interesting. So let's go Dark Steel, Flare Husk. Because we're not going to be attacking, so playing Bonded Construct that turn is not good. Hmm. Yeah, because if we play Carapace Forger next turn, we can't play Frogmite. So that's an interesting battle. Prism, sure. Hopefully he doesn't have a Frogmite here. He does. Ooh, Vault Scourge. Hmm. He only has three cards in hand. Did he mulligan? He mulliganed to six. Maybe now it is better. I can go like Bonded Construct, Vault Scourge. Wait, no. Let's see. Yeah, because if I just play Carapace Forger, I can't play Frogmite. Hmm. Alright. Not sure if this is right. He's probably just expecting us to be normal affinity. But we're going a little more aggro than that. Next turn, probably can just attack with all and play out our other threats. Uh, another frogmite. It's not ideal. No thought cast. Uh, mirror enforcer. It's certainly not ideal. And thought cast. Okay. Oh, serpent. Jesus. I have a funny feeling that this is going to be a tough one to win for some reason. Might be able to do it if he doesn't have an answer to this Vault Scourge. Okay, Mirren Force is a good one. Construct, Enforcer, Carapace Forger, attack for one in the air. He can't activate Gear Seeker, so we're certainly able to chump that. Next turn we can equip Flare Husk onto our Vault Scourge and start gaining extra life. We can also block something with Sparring Construct, put the counter onto our Vault Scourge as well. So 
If he doesn't have Galvanic Blast in hand, we might be all right. Chromatic Star, sure. Just gonna add a red, draw. Try to draw into Blast. No Carapace Forger as the last card, please. No attacks. Okay, drawing land was not good. Um, I think I want to equip and just get in for two. He can't attack because he has a 5-6. So if we attack with these 4-4s, four he just eats one of them. So our bad draws right now are more lands, Lotus Petal, Galvanic Blast, ooh, a Tog, jeez. Gear Seeker, okay, well, I'm definitely gonna block that. Oh, I maybe should have considered double blocking it. I think this is fine, actually, though. Ooh, another Spartan Construct's actually good. So I think I like attacking with Fault Scourge, Mirror Enforcer, and Carapace Forger, then leaving Sparn Construct and Frogmite back to block. Because he can sack two artifacts to eat one of these, but then he's far much farther away from killing us. He has one card in hand, I'm not sure what it is. Could it be land? I mean it could be a Galvanic Blast. Which would be pretty bad. I've thought about a Tog in this deck too, but in a lot of situations you just don't have very many artifacts in play, like towards the mid to late game. Whereas his affinity deck, you're really trying to get a big mass of artifacts into play. Where we're just trying to put them all out early and we're like sacking Lotus Fettos, we're expending resources, we're his deck is much more building up resources. Okay. Get him down to 14, play Sparring Construct. Pass the turn. So we have to have him not to find Galvanic Blast. I guess he could have a Fling. Or potentially, could he have Metallic Rebuke or Something like that in hand. Just take five here. Could put the counter block and put the counter on Vault Scourge. No, okay. That's going to be tough now. Of course, drum is just so bad. Um, guess I'll equip here, but... No, I don't think we can win. His draw was actually ended up being pretty good. Blue, blue, five, six affinity for artifacts. It's pretty good. I think I block now. Not sure though. Do you have another Galv Blast? At least we get to bring in double Gorilla, uh, gorilla Shaman. Natural state here. Cast, oh, Mirror Enforcer, that could have been his hand, card in hand. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, so 10, 15. Yeah, I mean, it's certainly not looking good. Do a cutesy little trick here that doesn't really matter at all. Have to try to attack, I think. I don't think there's any way I'm winning like a slightly long game at all, so go for this. I guess he only needs to sack two things to kill our guy, and then he just has like 10 power. But if I don't attack there, I just have a 5-5 five five and he can just keep crashing in. Yeah. 
All right, we need to be faster or draw our hate cards. Gorilla shamans, natural states, and I don't hate Galvast. Let's side out the least impactful cards, probably like Sparring Construct. Maybe Bonded Construct's not that great. He just has a lot of guys that just eat it. Maybe it's better to have these value creatures. Just side out all the Bonded Constructs and just go like this. Because he just has so many ways to deal with this. With Carapace Forger, Mirror Enforcer, Gear Seeker Serpent. He just blanks them. Alright, let's try this. We'll like be on the play. Hmm. This hand's not fantastic, but I'll keep. I can suit up a Vault Surge here. Next turn we can go Bone Splitter, Frogmite, equip Bone Splitter onto Vault Surge, hit for three lifelink. Okay, he's just killing our guy now. Sure. Let's just go Ginger Brew. Sparring Construct, Frogmite. Hit for one. Next turn we can go Bone Splitter, Equip, Hit. Do I want to equip Ginger Brute or Thopter? Probably Thopter. Ooh, there's an Atog. Interesting. Another Ginger Brute. Don't think that's good at all. Let's just go Bone Splitter. Equip Thopter. Hit with these two. Could have hit with Sparring Construct as well, but I think I'll keep it back to block. Thought cast. Okay. Nothing else. Okay, well, let's start Gorilla Shamanium for sure. Let's try to attack first. Then we can kill his Great Furnace if he like, kills something else. Don't really want to just let him eat the Ginger Brute or the Sparring Construct right now. But I will Gorilla Shaman. I think I'm going to eat Seed of the Cyanide right now. Pass the turn. Doesn't have Galvanic Glass. He would definitely have killed Gorilla Shaman. So maybe uh, Shaman will be enough to steal this game. I mean, Shaman in the mirror is just insane. He does have Dark Steel set at all, but I get to eat most likely both of his other lands. He shouldn't have played that Tree of Tails. So he's just going to concede. I'll just block with Sparring Construct. Don't want anything weird to happen. Guess I'll put it on Ginger Brute. Just go kill this. Kill this. Play Ginger Brute. Hit with all. And it's looking good. Another dark steel. 
now that our Gorilla Shaman's dead, but he's at three, and we have three power unblockable in these Ginger Brutes, and he's tapped out. Let's go game three. All right. I mean, Pyroblast does do something, but I don't love it. I think I just like it like this. Let's run it back. Could be pretty sick even, like, if our hand's like land, pedal, pedal, gorilla shaman or something. And just like maybe play a creature, play a gorilla shaman, kill his land on the draw. That could be pretty sick. All right, what did I say? Land, pedal, pedal, gorilla shaman. Um, oh, I almost clicked mulligan. Oh man, that would have been brutal. We definitely want to keep this hand. We're going to play it on turn one, blowing up. Ooh. I was going to say we're going to play it on turn one, blowing up this great furnace. But I don't want to get blown out as well. <sighs> Is it worth it if I go land, pedal, and then Gorilla Shaman blow up this and he goes Galvalas Gorilla Shaman. Is it worth it to wait one turn? Just not do anything this turn? I think it's worth. Because then I can kill two lands next turn probably. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Just play a Vault Scourge. Get artifacts into play. Yeah, and then next turn I can go Gorilla Shaman, kill two lands. Just, if he has a Galvanic Blast, which he likely does, it's pretty bad. And this way he's likely to play like a Prothetic Prism or something, and then we just kill both his lands. Oh, Carapace Forger? That's fine. We can also Gal Blast that, but we can Gal Blast that later. Ooh, I, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I couldn't have played this, but yeah, I'm just doing this. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that little squeaking, my dog sleeping near me and it looks like he's having a dream. <laughs> Good or bad dream, I don't know. He's sleeping in his little day bed. Okay, killed two of his lands. See if that's good enough. He also needs to go like basically Great Furnace, kill Gorilla Shaman now, because you can't just play a random land or just kill it. This card's just insane. Oh, uh, land was really, really good draw. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I think it's better to go Bone Splitter, equip. Attack for four. It's looking good here. Hopefully we can win this game off the power of Gorilla Shaman. The card is just insane. Like we could have turned one, blew up one land, but by waiting we just really wreck him. He realizes he shouldn't have attacked. Can't cast this Carapus Forger, but does that really matter at this point? So we'll go attack for three. I guess maybe I should have just Gal Blasted this now. Yeah, that, that was probably a mistake. One, two, three, four, five. I guess this way, if he plays the land, we have Gorilla Shaman up. I kind of like this actually. He has eight cards in hand. He's kind of forced to play a land here. Then we can just Gorilla Shaman it and untap. Let's see if he says something, like if he's annoyed in the chat. I mean, this card is pretty dumb. Sweet art though. Yeah, see now he has to just play Chromatic Star. If he has like land blast in hand, that's gonna be too late. We could even consider killing Chromatic Star if we draw a land. We don't, but I mean, this is this is game here. And attack with all. He 
He's at seven. We have nine power in play. Doesn't matter what he does here, I don't think. Yeah. GG's. Nice. So two and one with Affinity Agro here going into round four. I'll see you in round four here. Everyone, welcome back to round four. We're against Heisen01. We're on the play. And we cannot keep this hand. It's Mulligan. Uh, this is not good either. I'm going to keep. Put back one of these mirror enforcers and try to get there. Sand's pretty bad though. Drawing another artifact land would be huge. Okay. Hmm, this is not looking good. Probably not going to Welding Jar no matter what he does. Ash Baron's Prism. Okay. There's a Ginger Brute. Let's just play Bone Splitter and pass. So we want to draw land next turn to be able to double Mirror Enforcer, but it's probably too late at this point, honestly. Maybe should have Mulliganed again. Just you do the problem with this deck is to be fast. Okay, takes a mirror enforcer. You need, or I guess you could take ginger root. You need like a mass of cards, and you need the right cards. So by mo like when you have to mulligan, it can actually be pretty brutal because when you mulligan to five, you're just not gonna have enough lands plus zero drops plus affinity cards to like be able to go off. So you just it's you really have to draw well to have the, like to have the insane draws. Alright, he takes Mirror Enforcer. I guess we're just playing against Black White Control here. So yeah, especially since we had such a slow draw. It's looking rough, but okay. Too bad he castigated us there. Um So now I can go like I just don't want to use welding jar either. Right now, I'd rather save it to save the Mirror Enforcer. But his removal is most likely going to come in the form of like Edict effects or Journey into Nowhere effects anyway. And I won't have Galvanic Blast if I use this. Guess it's still worth it. Let's just do this. I guess he can block Germ, and that's kind of annoying for me too now because I have to re-equip. So I probably should have equipped Bonded Construct there. Mm -hmm. We'll see if that costs me. I mean, it's just looking like it's going to be tough to win this game regardless. We were just a little bit too slow. And what, we have like a... That was a turn four, or no? That was a turn three single mirror enforcer that's just that's just not going to be enough well we'll see yeah it looks like we're just against like black white control he probably has just like thraven inspector glint hawk core sky fisher removal stuff like that i think this is probably a better matchup for us than the the version with red though i mean maybe he's black white red so Maybe I'm speaking too soon. Core Sky Fisher, replay Astrolabe. It's really good. Another Bone Splitter. Okay. I think I just go equip. Hmm. Do I equip Bonded Construct? Attack with these two. It's more damage overall. I'm gonna do it. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. This deck is just, 
while it might not be the best deck, and when I say might not, it's definitely not the best deck, but it's pretty fun, and it's not that bad. It just plays Magic like a totally different way compared to pretty much any other deck in any format. You just like put your hand on the table. Even like Affinity and Modern doesn't do that as much. Like it tries to play like a two drop on turn one and then like it can grind. This deck is just really trying to like play four fours. I was worried about Pestilence. Um, I mean, that's gonna be really, really hard to beat. So we can Pestilence for one here and then that's just like gonna wreck us just by itself. But he can't Pestilence that much because, okay. So this Ginger Brute's just straight dead because I there's no reason to Welding Jar the, the Bonded Construct either, I don't think. I think I go, ooh, I also have Flare Husk though. So if I go Equip Bonded Construct, and he goes Activate Pestilence, well, I could go Equip Bonded Construct with Flare Husk, and he goes Activate Pestilence, then I can go Respond by Welding Jar, Regenerate, and then he has to Pestilence again next turn for two. But I could also go Equip Flare Husk onto Mirror Enforcer. One, two, three. He only has three black mana right now. My third option is just to play Bone Splitter, equip Mirror Enforcer, hit for six, let him Pestilence for one, and then let's say he plays Swamp. He goes one, two, three, four black sources, and then I can regenerate Mirror Enforcer. I like it, because then we also get Bone Splitter out of our hand. Pestilence for one here. It's a pretty sick deck over there. I'm not gonna regenerate. I'm just hope he doesn't have like a journey effect. Hit for six. He's gonna chump. Okay. And then next turn we can just keep suiting up. Thorn. Brutal. Return to Radiant Fountain. It's really good. We can regenerate the Mirror Enforcer off this Death Touch. Okay. I guess it's correct to go Flare Husk. Hit, regenerate, then play another Welding Jar. He may not really have journey effects. I mean, he. Oh no! Uh, I just misclicked. Just tried to regenerate, but I clicked yes one too many times. The beginning of the end step. beginning of the end step. Um, man, that sucks. So he does have red. There's no reason not to when you're playing like Astrolite Band Prism. But I, th I felt like we had a chance and now we, we just don't. Ah, that sucks. Sorry for the misclick, guys. Uh, second thorn would have been pretty rough. Alright. So even if we regenerated, we would have had to attack again, regenerate again. And then, I mean, at that point, like, anything kills us. He has six cards in hand. Alright, let's bring in natural state. Maybe Galvlast as well. Um, I think that's all we want. 
and side out a couple bonded constructs. Let's try it like that. All right, we're on the play, game two, here in round four. We'll get this hand. We'll have to keep this hand. Putting back, hmm. Could put back natural state, can put back Wodas pedal. Don't think I can really put back land. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. I think I need to keep natural state and lotus petal actually. No, it's just if I'm cracking lotus petal to use natural state. That's just not enough. All right, I'll just put this back. Let's play dark steel. Vault scourge. I think I'm also just going to play Ginger Brute. I guess I could also play Flare Husk, but I think this is better. He's not going to have an Edict effect on T1. So you're just going to play Astrolabe here. Uh, Thraven Inspector. That's not great for us. <laughs> yeah, for us that is. I think I need to just kill that. As bad as, as horrible as that is. I guess I didn't. I could have just activated Ginger Root. That would have probably been better. Yeah, that was probably wrong. If he has any discard cards in his hand, they're going to be pretty bad. Scrat our Vault Scourge. Pass. Just attack for two. No reason to equip Flare Husk right now. If he plays a creature, we're going to want to end up turn kill it with Blast. Cycle for Swamp. Could tap out for like a Crypt Rats here. Castigate. Okay. Can I bank blast you. It's possible. Another shred, okay. Land was just awful. Just drew land, land. Or no, just one land, but. Okay, that's going to do it. Looks like we're going down to two and two here. Opponent's at ten. Even if we draw a mirror enforcer at this point. Yeah, Core Sky Fisher, draw another card. Just, Astrolabe is just a mistake. This card is just insane. Just when you play Pockbird now, you just play against it every round. It'll get banned, I think. Just only a matter of time. All right, let's keep getting in there. Let's not give up yet. Although, realistically, we certainly could give up, and that'd be a totally fine line. <laughs> Blocks with his thorn. Then he's probably going to play another thorn. So his deck is just like black, white, red control. Looks pretty sick, honestly. Thorn to draw cards, a bunch of removal spells, cards like Cascade, Faithless Looting, wow. Probably just like two Faithless Looting, just for value, discard extra, like other bad cards. And when you're ripping through your deck with Core Sky Fisher, Astrolabe, it's fine if you go down a card. All right, Ginger Brood off the top would be okay. Welding Jar. Keep trying. <laughs> Opponent's at 14 though with four cards in hand. Flashing back eluding. 
discarding extra lands, drawing a bunch of cards. At least I appreciate our opponents playing fast, though. He attacks for four. And I'll concede. Could have conceded a couple turns ago, but... Let's see, Ginger Brute there. Definitely wouldn't have been enough to his five cards in hand. Moved down to two and two. Got wrecked there, but uh, that's all right. I'll see you in round five. Hopefully we can three two this. Welcome back to round five. We're two and two. Pretty unexciting, but let's see if we can at least get the three two. We're against Amaras 27. And we can't keep this hand. Ugh. This looks pretty bad. I think I have to keep maybe putting away a Thopter. Yeah, we really needed a Frogmite in this hand. No reason to use Petal to play Bone Splitter now. Okay, looks like we're against Boggles. Let's just go play, equip, hit. Oh, okay, I got a regen. Because next turn, I, I guess I could have used Petal to make it unblockable, but... I'm fine with using Welding Jar there. Was he going to play like a Ledge Walker? Yep. Okay. We're not out of this. If you can't grant lifelink, we might be all right. Pay one. Hit for three. Play a Vault Scourge. Pass the turn. Have Galvanic Blast up if we need it. If he plays the lifelink uh, enchantment, it's going to be rough, but... Looks like he probably doesn't have it yet. Okay. No Ethereal Armor one time. Okay. 5-5 five, five first strike Hexproof. Uh, brutal. I think I have to just ignore everything. Draw like a sparring construct or something. And start gaining life with Vault Scourge. Okay, there's Thopter. It's actually not the worst. Can potentially also sack this ginger root to gain three life. He has two cards in hand. They're probably either lands and or enchantments. 12 to 14 right now. We have one chump blocker. I think I might chump block this turn because he has a lot of ways to give trample. Mm. I guess they're just rancor and if he had rancor he'd play it. So if I go down to seven, I think that's fine, actually. I'll just do this. What's in his hand? Like, maybe more creatures? Oh, double strike? Oh, fling? So I obviously should have locked. Okay, nothing I can do. Okay. Let's bring in natural state, blazing volleys for sure. Don't want weather the storm. Maybe just take out Galvanic Blast. Just have all the creatures. Yeah, let's go with this. All right, we'd like to play first. All right, this hand looks fine. Can't cast these Carapace Forgers yet, but hopefully on turn two we'll get lucky and draw a green source. But 
I think just having this blazing volley is pretty huge. He mulligans to six. I mean, a good Boggles player should probably not run out their one Boggle on turn one if that's all they have, but it can be pretty tempting. Sprawl. Okay. All right, let's just get in there. Suit up. Drawing the green artifact land would be best case for us here. Boggle plus enchantment. Does he have the ethereal armor? He does. Sack it to draw a card. Okay. Thopter, one, two, three, four, five. Guess I just play out Mirror Enforcer. Pass the turn. Nothing that grants lifelink, please. Okay, well, gotta start chumping. But it's likely you can draw like one drop pretty much every turn. Oh, another blazing ball is awful. Get in for three. I'm not sure why he didn't attack there. Just pass the turn. Yeah, I mean, these Blazing Volleys are situational, but if his draw was like Boggle, Boggle, plus like Utopia Sprawl or something, then we get him. And in this matchup, I think you have to try to, you try, kind of have to try to get, just get him. Okay, it doesn't do anything. I mean, I guess you can have Flame here. Drawing towards that. Uh, brutal. Hit him down to 10. Does he have like a natural state? If he does, he probably doesn't even care. Rancor kills us. Lifelink kills us, Fling kills us. Get in for three. Frogmite. He's at seven now. Okay, we can Blazing Volley that. So if we draw a Galv Blast, oh no, we sided all those out. So we just have to fade one more turn. Just gonna go Blazing Volley. Play Bonded Construct as well. We just need to fade one more turn. Please. He conceded the game, wow. Did not think we were gonna get there in that one. Okay. No rancors, no flings, none of that. I wonder what he had. Yeah, Galvanic Blast does give us reach, but Ah oh, man, he knows about Blazing Volley now too. Hmm. Is it worth it? I feel like it still is. Just like Galv Blast only to go out face. Don't know if that's good enough. It might be, but it also just might not be good at all. Definitely want natural state. 
I think Blazing Volley is just better than Golf West. Having a chance to kill some of his guys, like kill blockers, it's just better than having Golf West that can go face. Hmm. Alright, well we have to keep this hand. This hand's interesting. He's got the boggle. We have a natural state. Okay. Pedal. So I can just play a Carapace Forger right now. Or I can play Drum, Bonded Construct, Flare Husk. Hmm. So if I play Drum, Bonded Construct, Flare Husk, that gives me more mana overall. Feels bad, but I think I have to do it. So now I can even like walk with Flare Husk if I need. We have a natural state for an ethereal armor or anything problematic. Rancor, okay. Can't attack right now though. Thopter. The reason Springleaf Drum is in the deck to add either. Oh, I guess I can just attack. Yep, I'm just gonna attack. Just Springleaf Drum is in the deck because it adds green or red mana. Not because. It really like helps ramp us that well just because it fixes our colors. Crumbling Vestige, never really liked that card. I guess it's fine in that deck. Oh god. Okay, well we can kill that. We can take seven. We can just race it because we can just kill Ancestral. But ooh, this is good now. Because we can just attack and then kill the Ancestral Vision. Or not Vision, Ancestral Mask. Right, let's just play. Do I want to play Spartan Construct now? I guess it doesn't matter. I guess it's better just to play it post combat. So let's just attack with these. It's kind of like r tells him what we're going to do, but that's okay. Now we go Natural State Mask. Then we trade, he gets his Rancor back. Then I get to play Spark. Oh, I could have regenerated. Mm -hmm. Could have regenerated the bonded contract there. Man, I'm playing a little sloppy here. Ethereal Armor, 3-3 three, three first strike. Hmm. Okay. Mirror Enforcer is a good draw. Attack with all these. He's gonna block the germ. He's down to seven. We know he has a rancor, but we're still at 20. No! Six, six, first strike trample. No attack. Well, the problem is I'm not sure what outs we have now. Hit him down to six. Ah, the armadillo cloak's just going to be too much. Gains 12, up to 18. So if we could have hit for 2, 3, 
seven, eight, twelve. You got us. I guess I was thinking we couldn't we could have maybe potentially just not cared about the the mask, but we, we had to. Um, so pretty bad showing there, but hope you enjoyed the deck anyway. Didn't get to see any of the most broken draws. I'll probably try to do another video with this deck. Um, maybe we can, you know, do a little bit better next time. But anyway, thank you for watching Snapbolt. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel on YouTube. And, you know, feel free to comment down below. Let me know what, what you think of the deck, how bad it is, how good it is, whatever. I'll respond to all the comments. But I really appreciate you guys um, interacting. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.